Hey guys, it's Crazy Pickle. Here it goes another Skyforge tutorial video. Second Demon's Distortion, aka F2. This one is more complicated than the first one, so I'm going to explain each boss's ability and what you need to do. Alright guys, let's get started. Edges of the arena covered with fire, which deals damage and applies effect which can get up to 10 stacks each time you touch that fire and deal damage over time. From the fire, periodically a cloud of magma is born, following a random character, player get the red mark above their head. Boss summons Fury or Imp. Both demons are covered with impenetrable shield. Boss will absorb some energy time to time from it to apply same shield to himself. Use fire at the edge of the arena or magma to remove that shield from Fury, Imp or Boss. Fury creates a demonic zone which deals damage over time when players standing in it, and it grows over time. The zone can be destroyed with smoldering embers periodically appearing at the edge of the arena. Touch smoldering ember and run into the center of demonic zone to destroy it. Every 5 seconds, Imp make demonic zone pulsate, killing all players who standing in the area of demonic zone. Boss charges for a while, then jumps into the center of the arena, creating a powerful wave, deals damage and repels your party members and summon demons to the edge of the arena. Boss creates in front of itself a set of astral domes that expands and explode, causing damage to all around. After losing some health, the aberration will change, periodically Boss will jump into the center of the arena, pull all the characters to him and create aberrations around him. Boss flies into the air and summons fireballs that start moving around the arena. Fireballs deals damage and apply burning effect on player characters. At the certain level of this effect, the character panics and runs towards the center of the arena. When Boss's health drops below 30%, Boss absorbs the protective shells from God Sparks and restores health back to 100%. You have about 1 minute to kill Boss before he goes in rage. Only at this time you can pick up the God Sparks and it's only up to 3 people. Now let's talk about actual battle. You will do main full buff right when Boss will reach the left side of the arena next to the wall, which is the best place as a tank to tank on that side. And best option is to keep boss close to the edge of the arena and make him face the wall because every time boss summons a demon it will spawn where boss facing, in this case right inside the fire, which means that demon shield will be removed right away. If you're gonna be able to do that entire fight, then just keep rotating main buff and secondary buff. And of course pay attention on the red mark above your head or your teammates. Usually if someone spotted where magma coming from, they will let you know. And yes, voice chat is gonna be very very helpful. And when boss facing same direction all the time, you don't have to worry about avoiding astral aberrations when boss creates astral dooms in front of him. But if it happens that Ad spawned not in the fire, then you need to remove that shield and kill it. Then remove shield from the boss and then you can use your buffs again. Just remember, to remove shield from Ad, you can use fire next to the wall or magma and magma only to remove shield from the boss. It is gonna be a little challenge for the tank when boss will use jumps and the second phase of astral aberrations when he will uh, pull everyone to the middle of the arena and create astral domes around him. But it is still doable. When boss using Lord of Fire ability, as you can see on this video, entire team goes to the bottom left corner just not too close, not to stand in the fire. During this phase, one or two players need to use Metarchus' stuff or use Alchemist Terminal and if uh, needed LB's Sacred Barrier. But if you're really good at avoiding fireballs, then you don't have to go to that corner. Just run around, keep avoiding the fireballs. You should be fine. 
I believe around 40% boss's health, he will start summoning two Furies. Speaking of Furies, when Furies start dropping Demonic Zone, assign one person to get rid of those by picking up Smoldering Ember, it's gonna look like a lava rock around the arena. It's not gonna be a lot of those, but you should have enough to get rid of it. And bring it to the center of the Demonic Zone. In case of two Furies, whoever else can help remove Demonic Zone, just do so, because one person, sometimes it's really tough to do that. It's doable, but it's really tough, so you need to act really fast. When boss's health drops below 30%, he will absorb energy shield that covers God's sparks, replenish his health to 100% and three assigned player can grab those sparks. Time when you have all three gods ready to go, you will have about one minute to kill it. So act fast and drop everything you got on the boss. So just do your best and follow the mechanics and you will succeed. Alright guys, this is it for this video. If you liked it, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe, activate notification bell. You can also follow me on Twitter at crazypickle 7 and join my Discord server as well. Link will be in the description. Until the next time, take care.